Robin Swim Show. Hi, yeah, this is uh, Sam Martin calling in uh, with the uh, XVP Comedy. I was told to call at 6.30. Yeah, uh, Sam, can you give us a couple of minutes? We're just coming right back from a break, okay? Just stay on the line for us. Yeah, sure, sure. Sam? Okay. Yeah, Sam's on the phone awesome. right now. And we have an amazing development, but I'll wait until oh! after... Uh... No, I, did, I just totally... No, 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 don't say it. I'm oh, going to bring it up on the air. You just <laughs> keep that to yourself. <laughs> 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 you just missed a, like an epic thing, Rob. But yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll hold it. We'll hold it off. Uh. All right, all right. Uh, are we on? Yep, we're good to go. Rob and Slim show. Sammy, there. I'm here. Yeah. What's up, dude? How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. What uh, you you do uh, a project called XVP Comedy, correct? That's right. That's right. XVP comedy. Yes. And what is and, uh, uh is the network on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. It's just a, yeah, it's a YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, we're based out of uh, Northbrook, Illinois, uh, just uh, like a little you know suburb right outside Chicago. Nice. And do you guys have like a yeah. studio you do it in, or do you just do it in like uh, yeah, like so, an uh, apartment or something? So basically, the, our our story is uh, myself and Patrick, who actually couldn't be here right now. He wanted to, but that as as it goes. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, he and I work for this company called Express Video Productions, which which like is like a videography company that bases you know like a lot of its business in like weddings and bar mitzvahs. So we, for the longest time for years, have actually done like mitzvah concept videos which are basically like these uh, videos that they would go, they would like, you know, we could bring in the family, bring in the kid, bring in, you know, whoever else. And then we would do like these like parody videos based on whatever the kid liked. So okay. if the kid like, so if the kid liked Jurassic Park, then we would do something like, uh, you know, we would like green screen all the dinosaurs out of Jurassic Park. Would they have like yarmulkes on? Say again. Would they have like yarmulkes on? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Tons I gotta see a picture it. fucking raptor with a yarmulke on. They oh, have yeah. one we watched it's... of uh, Jurassic Park in high heels. It's amazing. Right, yeah, the high awesome. heels. Is... <laughs> so yeah. So, so actually, so, so what happened was we had one kid whose name is Brody Kriz. He did this like top Billboard top, you know, like top five hits. And it's just this, uh, this like you know, thirteen-year-old little Jewish boy, and he—it's basically like we, we kind of like Jewified all of these <laughs> par- all these songs into these like parody songs, and this kid like sang like lip synced and then sang them, and then that video went viral and got like two and a half million views. Holy cow! And so we were like, oh. We were like, oh, okay, well, maybe we could just, you know, like kind of capitalize on this and then just start making videos just of whatever, you know, we want. I was going to say, you so, have a huge uh, YouTube audience. Yeah, yeah, we've reached a, we've, we've had a good, we've had, you know, a couple of hits so far, uh, and we're, you know, we're kind of like spreading our aim to different spots. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's so, so far for the short amount of time we've been doing it, it's, uh, you know, it's been uh, real fun and, and uh, you know, yeah. How, how long have you been putting them out on YouTube? We've been doing it. We so the Brody Chris video was in February, uh, so we've been doing it for not not quite a year. Wow, we're doing something wrong then, because we've been doing it almost two years. <laughs> hey, no, believe me, everything everything we've been doing has been like we we you know we'll put something out and we'll be like, what the hell? We did a James Bond one recently, and we put it out you know like just before the movie came out, trying to promote it and nothing, not anything so it's just a it's kind of a crapshoot really yeah right yeah, we've got a few hit and we had like one video that got a little big and and some guy just started calling us jerk offs like over the weekend because we didn't like a comedian that he loved so we, we were we were scumbags just and we're not funny right, and we're yeah, nobody but he has we don't have a right to criticize comedy i don't know he's writing essay long comments on this video for nobody's what oh, i yeah. bother it's you just know a heavy Oh yeah! Keyboard, oh yeah! Control. You can't listen to those guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a reason. There's a reason why they call them trolls, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And his picture is uh, another comedian. He doesn't even have a real picture or name. I think <laughs> he was Enema High Headquarters or something. Right, right. Enema HQ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice name. Nice name. This is that greasy pale guy that lives in his mom's basement. Yeah, he never <laughs> left. He never left the basement. <laughs> have you guys ever thought about like? 
uh, pitching to uh, like Cartoon Network, like Adult Swim or uh, Comedy Central or even SNL? Yeah, we we thought we talked about it. As of right now, we're actually so so we so we operate out of the studio in in Northbrook. So the plan right now is to kind of just like get like more of a YouTube following, okay. just make more and more of these hits, and then eventually probably start making bigger things. You know, like like television shows, web series, that kind of stuff. Uh, and we actually have like a whole like functional studio with like equipment, like a green screen. You know, nice. like so. So we're actually we're trying to keep as much as we can in house, uh, and then like let people kind of like come to us and, you know, so far like a little little stuff like little little stuff's been trickling in, but like nothing nothing too huge. Dude, but uh, is it just you guys yeah, in the yeah, videos? Is it like all your work. friends or like do you do you have actors? Yeah, yeah. So for the most part, we just call our friends. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and luckily That's what we Patrick do. and I yeah. are both we're both improvisers in Chicago, so we have we have very very funny you know friends who are willing to do it for pretty much nothing so Ooh. we are very lucky in that respect that's awesome what um what's the newest one is the star wars one the, the most recent yeah yeah the star wars one is, is our most recent one uh, and basically the whole idea with that one is uh like looking at the relationship between star wars and their and the fans so we kind of started with this pitch where it was basically like this guy who like running into Star Wars, like this like fan running into like Star Wars in a in like a coffee shop and be like, oh my god, Star Wars, is that you? <laughs> and then and then she's like, she's like, oh my god, fanboy, how, oh my god, how long has it been? It's like ah, oh, it was 2005. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like and a rom com. Like, look... It was really fucking funny. Right. So then, it, so then we basically like kind of like start making it like this romantic comedy about how like what if Star Wars and fanboy were like lovers and like back in 2005 Star Wars really like lost her shit and just like became a mess like Started talking too, like like, Jar -Jar. Wore, like like party too much like talked really weird like wore weird makeup started and, like, getting like all ridiculous. philosophical and... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so so yeah so we tried to like map it on to like a romantic comedy so we watched a ton of romantic comedy trailers <laughs> way more way more than any one human should uh, <laughs> One in particular that stands out that was just like the cream of the crop was Sweet Home Alabama. Do you remember that movie? I don't remember that one. The, no. My sisters movie, love I that movie. It. I never watched it. Oh my it. god! It's an, was Matthew it's an McConaughey Renee, in it? Uh, or it's an old Reese Witherspoon movie. Oh, it, oh. It, is, it is utter garbage. It is. <laughs> so we watch that trailer. Awful. It's an old Reese yeah, Witherspoon. We need to watch that. So you know it's good. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's got Reese Witherspoon in it. Come on. <laughs> no yeah no it's 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 it was it was absolutely like i mean it was interesting to like go back and be like oh yeah how do they do room like what what goes into a romantic comedy and it's like dogs pretty much every one of them has dogs like or a pet of some kind they all have the like but like I don't know what to do, kind of a like girl it's just like oh, the gay, best help me. gay best friend you know, like, yes yeah, exactly. And then they're like, yeah, the gay best friend. And uh, so, I love so, yeah. How they did that with JJ. <laughs> JJ, JJ Abrams. Abrams. Yeah. What? When you guys thought they made JJ as the gay best friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. they so, did that. So That's made, right. Yes. So, yes, yeah, so we made uh, we made gay J Abrams. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, there, there's a little appearance of a, a little gay, gay JJ in there. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was fucking amazing. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, man. George Lucas was the ex, the other. Yes, I the remember other that. Ex. That was really funny. Yeah, didn't yeah, trust yeah. him around George anymore. Didn't trust him around George anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Can't trust you around that guy. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So how long have you guys been doing the, how long have you guys been doing the show? Is it two? Or I like... think we're on our third year, so yeah, it was two years that uh, we've actually done it. Robin Slim for one, the RBJ show before that, mm. and yeah, this is... I think so. I think yeah. about two as this show. Is it two as this show? Oh, almost, I would say. I guess one full oh, year Oh, maybe it's show. like one and a half. Yeah. One and a half is this show. That's... That's that's incredible. You've been doing so. Is it, is it like a... How long is the show? Like two, three hours? Four, Four and a half hours uh, every Wednesday. Yep. Wow, that is that is impressive. Yeah. Well done. That is a long time to be doing. I cannot, 
I tried to do a podcast once and I just couldn't I couldn't keep it up. That's that is impressive. We've had yeah, it's we've had a lot of too. people say that. And yeah, and we do live and we also do a lot of interviews. A lot of interviews. And bits. Yeah, seriously. We have uh we had just the other day, uh we did an extra show Saturday and we had our amazing executive intern do a uh an appliance commercial. Uh back in the day, um in like the New York area they had this uh, store called Crazy Eddie's, and the guy doing the commercials was like totally coked up, just foaming <laughs> at the mouth. And uh, so oh, we call him the Lamborghini because one time he got really drunk and punched a hole in the wall. <laughs> right. uh, just actually slapped it, so we called him the Lamborghini after that. And so he did a commercial called Crazy Slammies, where he was just slamming appliances <laughs> into the floor and slamming down prices. <laughs> oh my God, that. Those those types of commercials should never stop. Those right, right? Continue. They're dying out too. That's, that's a, it. That's Nobody's doing cool ones like that it. anymore. <laughs> we they have need a... to, they need to continue those. There's one in Chicago called uh, Eagle Man. Oh, my <laughs> girlfriend Jules has shown me that one. Yes. Oh my God, I saw it when I first got here, and it is incredible. And it's like kind of like just weird and per it's like borderline perverse isn't it like insurance like it's like insurance right yeah it's insurance it's like car insurance and it's just like they get in this it's like the, the original commercial is like these girls get into a wreck and this guy who's dressed in an eagle suit like lands on their car what? and then they get out and, and then they have a moment it's like wait it's weird because they have a moment where they're like oh my god what is that and it's like what is it's like a scary movie in the middle of a commercial <laughs> and then they get out of the car and they look and there's this guy dressed in an eagle outfit on top of the roof. And then he says, in this voice, he says, I've got something for you. What? And then, oh he, and then he lays an egg and then in the <laughs> egg is this like deal, is this like, you know, insurance idea, you know, plan that they've got. And it's the it's the creepiest thing. And then they say at the same time, like, thanks, Eagle Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest. But it's a legend. It's a, yes. a full-on legend at this point. <laughs> it's just like crazy. <laughs> it is. The uh, oh, prices oh, are insane. Now, how long have you guys uh, known each other for? Uh, so Patrick and I actually met at Second City. We both took classes there. Uh, we uh, we did their conservatory program, which was like a year long program, and that was back in two thousand and eight. So uh, so we did that. Uh, we met there, and then I had been working at this videography company at the time, and then I actually left because I actually got uh, booked on a couple of Second City uh, boats. So they have like they have the um, the Second City touring company and a faction of the of like of Second City theatricals is when they they put you on cruise lines. So uh, so I had left and when I left, Patrick actually came in and like started working there too. So then eventually we both kind of came back and then we just started working there full time. And then and then after a while we got kind of bored with doing you know the same Jewish videos over and over again, which is like <laughs> they're still they're still great and fun and weird and like and when the kids get into it, it's like the best that's but cool after, but after a while we were just kind of like you know let's maybe try and do something else let's maybe branch out and try something else <laughs> nice what uh <laughs> <laughs> the doritos commercial too i didn't see the one <laughs> till tonight i saw the one with the guy getting like a, a hammer in the nuts i think it was <laughs> right. or punched in the nuts yeah. and then slim showed me the movie theater one tonight which was <laughs> great too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Has yeah. Doritos uh, have they seen that? Yeah, they they saw it. We actually are a uh, top fifty finalist. Wow! Congratulations! So, oh wow! I was gonna ask. They should definitely use. Did that be amazing yeah, if yeah. they put that in the Super yeah, Bowl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying. Yeah, it was it was out of like I think I think there was somewhere around uh, like ninety five hundred submissions. So we got into the top fifty, which feels pretty, pretty wow. good. Yeah, that alone is is definitely a compliment. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, and uh, yeah, we we decided to do two. We were like, let's do one that kind of oh. feels like a normal Doritos commercial, and one that's just like ridiculous and weird. And that's the one that they they picked the uh, so the one that made it in was the. 
the one where the guy keeps getting hit in the nuts. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, he's pushing the button. <laughs> I love the movie theater one because the dude's got it in his, in his head. He's got the bag rolled up. And then you he thought that was the guy, and then he moves, and the other guy's trying to just jam the Doritos <laughs> down his pants <laughs> to sneak him in the movie he's theater. Amazing. Oh and the God. dude with the Doritos on his head actually had an ID with the photo yeah. of it. The, the guy Doritos. in the theater was like, let me see your ID, sir. And he had, okay. And, and what was his name? Like, it was like. Nick Lovin ID, like he yeah. pulls out. It was Dorito Nacho Dorito or something was his name. Yeah, yeah, Nacho C Dorito head. I thought that was the one that made it, like, because they were both great, but that one I thought was just next level. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we tried our best. Yeah, we tried to, we tried to put as many like little like details into uh, into both of them as we could, and we felt like that one was a good like. Yeah, this feels like a Doritos commercial. This feels like it's got like that weird like unexpected turn at the end and everything, but. I don't know. I guess they they like punching people in the mouth. <laughs> like, yeah. that, that That's always humor. funny. You can't oh, yeah. you can't go wrong with that. You got to go to the basics. You know what's the basics? You know, getting right. hit in the nuts. I mean, seriously, watching people fall down and getting hit in the nuts. Yeah. The guy in the theater, yeah. the uh, storyline was too complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There was too That's much of a Too story. much on <laughs> one plate. <laughs> we just need nut shots. Just, <laughs> just bag tagging. <laughs> what right. you need to do is pitch yeah, exactly. that as a, mo- pitch yeah. that as a movie. Yeah, so for that one, we actually had Patrick wear a, uh, a cup because he, he was, like, insistent on, like, we have to actually, like, have this actor, like, really hit him in the nuts as hard as he possibly can. <laughs> oh, Otherwise, it's not going to work. So we like so he had to like test all these different cups. So he eventually we put it we pull it on and like and he gets hit like really hard and he said it was fine. He said like the whole time and we were like, Oh wow, we yeah, it actually kinda of, kinda of nailed it. Slim did that where my kids were up and they fought him. They they had like uh nerf swords, nerf swords yep. and he had a dragon mask on and they were fighting the dragon and he wore a cup. Yeah, yeah, because I figured that's all they were gonna go for. Surprisingly, they didn't really. They they kept away, but <laughs> yeah, you gotta. You, I mean, you know, you gotta use soft stuff down there. I mean, that's that's yeah. important stuff down there. <laughs> Cameron Reedy is very upset. I'm sorry, Sam, but he's this other guest that's been on a couple times. He's really uh, kind of stalkerish, but he's been messaging me, and uh, I was sending him some messages earlier as pete because i said pete was running the twitter and he's messaging me on facebook now he's very upset because uh, oh, pete, he's just yes. like... <laughs> he won't stop oh my what? God. <laughs> he's, he's on right after right after me he's no we had him on months ago and then a second appearance and then he just he started like sending my girlfriend private messages on facebook and getting real creepy and stuff and and so then he messaged me, like, I don't know, for a month or two straight, just asking what was up. And I never replied. And so finally tonight on the show, I started replying, saying that I was Pete and that he wasn't welcome on the show anymore. <laughs> and now he's he started messaging me on Facebook. He's like, that guy runs your show now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it got to be too much for me. He took over. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, that's your show. This is your show, all right? right? You call the shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty funny. Wait, what does that guy mean by that guy? I guess what you weren't worthy. I guess guy. he didn't think you were ready for the job. Yeah, but I, I uh, just... He could go fuck himself. Yeah, <laughs> oh, he just yeah. pissed off the Lamborghini. <laughs> oh, Uh-oh. <laughs> Do nothing uh, to this fool. <laughs> he did. You just told him he was not allowed on the show anymore. And then you told him, yeah. What How can he's such a great performer with so much energy and so interesting, like, and you shot him down. And he sells Zion no, pills out of the trunk of his car. <laughs> now he's not allowed. <laughs> That's how successful he is at comedy. <laughs> is he popping up on mine too. We'll just gotta close this. What? What is his? Wait. So what is his? What? Why is he on your show? Like, what's his like claim to fame? What's he was just fame? a comedian, and we thought he was okay at first. But then the second appearance we had him on, he was. He, he was just did really a few quiet. open mics. That's all it was. Yeah, yeah. He's just, I mean, we don't care. We'll talk to anybody. But dude, that he just he got relentlessly stalkerish in messaging. Me and, like I said, my girlfriend. Like, it was crazy, dude. It was funny because oh, wow. it, it, 
in his uh, video that we watched, the open mic, nobody was laughing. <laughs> yeah. And Rob had commented on it because we kind of like that stuff when you see a, com- a comedian up there and he's still like pushing and, and not really giving a fuck that nobody's laughing. And Rob mm. had brought it up to him. And he's like, oh, no, 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 the crowd was laughing, but the camera didn't pick it up. It picked him up on stage <laughs> from the crowd, but it didn't pick up all the surrounding <laughs> laughter. Right. This camera, is re- this phone was real selective on what it picked up. Right. <laughs> of course it was. No, the crowd was yeah, dying, all right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But then I've heard the countless other comedians where the, you hear the crowd right. cracking up and shit. Yeah, no, this, <laughs> this one character, it's the slam song. It's the slam song <laughs> the slam song that only picks up the guy on stage. It don't pick up. <laughs> yeah. You can yeah, only yeah. get it at crazy it slams. Like, it sounds like that's something, something that someone told him a long time ago, and yeah. he just now <laughs> believed that. No. He's were... like, oh, no, I don't oh, know. As a comedian, you never hear the audience laugh. You don't hear <laughs> them on stage. Away. Exactly. You don't hear it up there. But trust me, it was going on down here. Huh? <laughs> Definitely was going on down Oh, no, believe me. They're in hysterics. The quieter they are, the more they love it, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> the more you hear the crickets. Oh, uh, Sam, I wanted to ask you too. Do you get um, like anybody on uh, YouTube disliking your videos? Because we've had so we've had a lot where you know you get tons of dislikes, and uh, even we had uh, DJ C Porter on about a, was it last week? Last week. And I've noticed on his videos, which are amazing mashups, that he has you know some dislikes. It's like, well, how could you dislike that? Yeah, I don't know. I, and it's a very strange thing the idea of like of like you know people kind of like hating on something and we we were actually expecting like with uh with brody who's the uh, who's the the kid who ended up having the, like the big hit we were like oh man we were kind of worried because we were like this kid's really like young and like he's a, he's like a little bit overweight so we were like man we hope that he's like we're like oh man we hope people don't like like take it easy on him because he's just like he's a little kid yeah um but uh, but surprisingly, like almost it was almost entirely positive. That's cool. Like it was it was yeah it was actually like super surprising in a good way. It just seems there's always got to be somebody who just dislikes something. Even when you see, I, I think it was that who was that astronaut from the space station who played uh, Space Oddity. Do you remember that guy? He, he, yeah. And oh, yeah. there were some people, and he did a great version. He made it his own. He never said you know he was better than Bowie, and people were like. David Bowie's better than you. You stink. Like there was so many, not so many, but there's always like you know somebody to have something bad to say. Yeah, there's always an answer. Yeah, it's weird. Once you put that like screen in front of someone, I mean, people can they just they say things that I don't think that they would say otherwise. Like they wouldn't. They just they it's like a portal to release their like hatred of whatever is going on in their life that they want to just like like funnel into this comment which is crazy it's ridiculous yeah because these guys would get lynched if they said it in public for this half these guys <laughs> <laughs> that's it yeah they get punched or whatever <laughs> so... <laughs> it's a public smackdown have you guys had to deal with that have you had to deal with the like uh, with the haters oh yes, yes. yes. yes oh absolutely. we've actually gotten death threats, death threats. <laughs> <laughs> on youtube canadian lawsuits yes lawsuits canadian, we, yes. we got a couple uh, lawsuit threats too but they never went through. One of us from Canada. I was like, what, are you going to send a Mountie down? We've been in feuds with other shows. Just <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, it's it's like the same thing of like someone like looking at like Jennifer Lawrence and being like, I don't think she's attractive. And it's like, yes, you do. She's gorgeous, okay? It's like... <laughs> Like every, it's like, come on. Like if you were to, if any of this stuff were to happen in like real life, if you were to see this art or this work in real life, I mean, it's only ever going to get like that kind of amount of hatred if it has that amount of like attention and likes and that kind of stuff anyway. Yeah. People that are just sending the hate are just giving it more. They they give it, yeah, it's publicity. Like, yeah, they, they don't understand either that they're giving you. They're giving you that attention. It's great. It's great to know that yeah, somebody was like taking 15 minutes to type something to us. I uh, think they're like worthless right. opinion actually yeah. holds weight. Yeah. <laughs> In the sea of like billions of people. Somebody said we should have been dragged through the streets by like horses and like killed for April Fool's Day. Right. Like, and I think that was. Fire and... Yeah, a little fire. Oh, and also the same person said that we should be thrown in jail for life because <laughs> we're more dangerous than a murderer. Like, what? Oh, my God. Because yeah. we made a joke and we were making, it was dark humor. Some mother burned her baby in the streets and we. We, we we never said it was a great thing, but we we made a little light of it, you know. And right. uh, it was kind of like a South Park or like you know some Seth Rogen movie type 
scenario we made it to be, and these people were jumping all over us, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> man, oh man, it it truly is people who just don't have a lot going on. And like I, I said, it was it's yeah, it was just satire. It was bi- that's why I said I ended up just at one point taking the definition of satire and just putting it as a comment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, dude, we got to wrap this up, Sam. But um, thank you so much for talking to us. And where can everybody find you guys? Uh, so, we actually, they can just go to uh, they can go to YouTube and look up XVP Comedy, uh, or they can actually just type in xvpcomedy.com, uh, and just uh, and that'll take you right to the YouTube site. We're working on a web page, and we're working on a little more of a media presence. But uh, yeah, type in that uh, on YouTube or on on uh, online, and should be should be good. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, have fun with the rest of the show. Yeah, man. Thank you, sir. Take care, man. Easy. All right. Bye. Later, bro. Cameron said, is this guy really running your website? What do you say? Is, is that still your page? I say, yeah, we have an intern running Twitter now. Oh, gotcha. I wanted to come back on, and he, I said I've been on twice, and he said, well, let's not make it a third. <laughs> I'm running the show now. And then some shit about me not being worthy, not being the Moon Master, some gay <laughs> shit. And I said, I don't know, man. It got too much for me, so he took over. I'll talk to him later. Not a problem. <laughs> and he said, don't bother, because I could just talk to you here. Whatever that means. <laughs> he but just wants to talk to you. But does he run the show now? And guess like all that. I've been wanting to catch up. I said he took over. It got to be too much for me. What about Slim? I said we have a lot to do. Fair enough. I hear you, man. Uh, I had to cancel both of my Vermont shows. Kept getting in the way. I don't know. He's got too many shows. Can I can I actually interrupt with the one thing that you missed before the show? Real quick is uh, oh before we had started, I was putting out the pictures of the pizzas. And we're going through them, and I brought the picture of the burrito pizza. And Mike, it's like, what? What is that? I'm like, it's a, we opened up a burrito and dumped it on there. He's like, oh my god, that looks amazing. I want it a does, burrito it does, pizza. It was good. Man. Yeah, and he's like, wow. I'm like, dude, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll make you one right now. I still got a pizza. I got a burrito, and I'm about to get up. And Pete goes, um, I um, ate all the, I ate all the burritos. <laughs> Oh, hey, man. We only used one out of the They pack. kept on like. They were calling. They kept on like. Well, no, no. It, it was in a period of two days. They, I kept on opening the freezer. They kept on falling out and hit me in the face. So I fucking ate them. <laughs> did exactly what you should have done. Oh, I, I fucking ate them. I was tired. That was a 15 or 20 pack of burritos. I know. All right, guys. Holy shit. Going on break. We'll be back. You're an animal. <laughs> <laughs> took me two days. <laughs> two That's why days. He's so crappy, he's like eight burritos a day. <laughs> eight bur- actually, no, I only had like. I actually had four burritos out of that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even joking, there was four burritos out of that. We only used one, there was like 50, it was a 15 pack. Oh, is there still more in there? I'll, maybe. There might be more in there, I don't know. I, oh, I All I know is I had four oh. of them. Go on, break. Or no, there was one.